Hey everybody, welcome back to It's Only Food with Chef John Philippe. Today we are making a bacon jalapeno and cheese omelet. Cue the music. Alright, well this is It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Thanks so much for watching. If this is your first time watching, go ahead and hit that little subscribe button right down there in the corner and then hit that notification bell to be notified each and every time I upload new content. Well, like I said, we're going to be making a bacon, jalapeno, and cheese omelet. We've seen tons of videos for bacon-wrapped jalapeno poppers. I took that idea, and we're going to run with it and do an omelet. I'm not going to make jalapeno poppers and then chop them up and throw them in the omelet. But what we're going to do is take our ingredients here, which is our eggs, our bacon, our jalapeno, and our cream cheese. And we are just going to cook off the bacon and the jalapeno and then we're going to throw it into an omelet and put the cream cheese in there and see how that works out. So let's get into the kitchen and get this going. All right, I've got our jalapeno. It's a good size one. I'm going to just cut this up and then we're going to do our bacon because I want to do the raw product last. I'll just cut this up and we'll put it in a little bowl all diced up and ready to go. But that way I only have to wash my cutting board once instead of reusing it again after I've done the jalapeno. So I'm just going to split this into long quarters where I can take out the membrane and the seeds. Unless you want it hot, leave the membranes and the seeds in there. Just put these off to the sides. I'm wearing gloves just to make it easier to get my hands back on my equipment again without having to wash my hands every time. Because some of these oils are really bad for your eyes if you rub your eyes. All right. I'm just going to show you one here real quick and then we'll transition into the bacon. You can dice this as fine as you want. You can mince it. You can leave it in big huge chunks. However you want to eat the omelet. I like it in the little bites. So I'm going to cut up the rest of it like this. Put it into our bowl right here and then we'll get into the bacon. Alright, out of the 12 ounces of the bacon we've got, I've got five pieces. I'm just going to rough cut it about a half an inch because we all know bacon cooks. It curls up and becomes smaller. So there's our bacon. I'm going to leave it right on the cutting board. We'll transfer over to our pan. Oops. There's our jalapenos all ready to go. And our cream cheese is sitting out to soften and we will show you how we're going to do that too. So let's transition over to the pan. Alright, our pan is on, medium to medium high heat, cook thoroughly, we're going to let that get about halfway, then we're going to add our jalapeno. Okay, we're about a quarter of the way into it, it is starting to brown up, I think we should just take a moment of silence here to uh, reflect and think about why we love bacon so much, so let's do that. Okay, we're about halfway through it. Bacon's starting to crisp up. I'm not going to throw all these jalapenos in here because I want to keep it at equal ratio. So I'm going to do about half. Now I can just save the other half for later. So here we go. Equal parts pepper, equal parts bacon. In the bacon fat. Everybody must be shocked because it's not olive oil. Here on its only food bacon fat. I'm just going to basically turn off the heat now and let this continue to cook on its own without the heat from the, the flame. I'm going to set it off to the side on another burner and we'll get into our omelet. So there's our egg pan. I'm going to take some of this bacon fat for our omelet. Wipe off the bottom of that so don't get yelled at for making a mess. I always clean up my messes. I'm a good husband. Take our egg. We're going to do a two egg omelet too. So not a three. And I want to see how big this gets with our technique of folding it while it's 
cooking under. So I'm gonna back out a little bit here so you can see this. Whipping our egg. There's my hand, everybody can see. I got bad angles in this kitchen, so. All right, and we got our grease, our bacon fat all over the pan so it doesn't stick. We'll throw our egg right in there. Let that cook up. Like I said, it's a two egg omelet that we're gonna take in technique that we show on our other omelet videos where we just fold the cooked up to the middle and let the raw run in under and cook under the omelet. There we go, I'm gonna back out again. We flip this baby. I'm gonna roll it, make sure it's not sticking. And you just twist your wrist and boom, there it is. I turn the heat off. Let's add our ingredients here. Oh, it smells fantastic. Remember to have it right up the handle. So when you fold your omelet over on your plate, it all stays in the middle. We're gonna take our cream cheese now. Put that right down the middle as well. I had some already, my wife told me that, reminded me like all wives do, that we had some in the refrigerator, so you didn't need to buy what you bought. So that's what I used instead of what I showed you earlier. The ingredients list will be down in the description box as well for this omelet, so look for that. I used about two thin slices out of that little block so that we had in the fridge. Then we just take it and roll it right there. Boom, there's your omelet. I'm gonna hit some toast on this. We're gonna come back and take some awesome pictures of it for social media. Then we're gonna put those pictures in the timeline with some groovy music. Then we're gonna come back and give this a try. I can't wait. Enjoy the pictures and enjoy the music. you enjoyed the photos and the uh, music that I chose there's all that goodness inside of there I topped it off with a little more bacon and uh, jalapenos because I've told you in past um, shows when I've done omelets and eggs is when you're a chef in the back and you're throwing all these different omelets ham and cheese Spanish omelet Western all these different omelets are going up in the window you throw the ticket up and the waitress doesn't know which ones to grab and unless the ticket's right by the food. So you put a little bit of the topping on there so they know. That way they're not taking out the wrong food to the wrong customer and then have it come back and let the cook know that they need to redo the order. I'm going to throw the camera on another tripod over here. We're going to go to the tasting shot and say goodbye. There is that bacon, jalapeno, and the cream cheese omelet that we did. It smells fantastic napkin out of the way here. Going in for our taste shot now. Oh. Creamy. Hope it's not too hot. Oh man. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god. You've got to do this omelet. That egg is creamy. That cheese is creamy. You've got the bacon in there that is, well, it's bacon, okay? And then that little bit of heat, when you're halfway through it, starts hitting you. Not in intense heat, just a little bit of heat from that jalapeno. Awesome, very awesome. Let's be good at some crispy hash browns too. But I highly recommend you try this out. Even if you don't like the jalapeno, do a bacon and cream cheese on it. It will be a winner. Thanks a lot for watching. We're gonna say goodbye now. We're gonna transition into the ending sequence. Thanks a lot for watching. Hey, I appreciate you watching today. Thanks a lot. Don't forget to check out that description box on your way out. Not only does it contain the recipe for this show, but it also has a bunch of groovy links. I have a gourmet seasoning shop on Etsy and also have a cookbook on sale. Those links are down there. Don't forget to check out the playlist I've got down there for how to create a cooking show on YouTube and also a playlist link for how to improve your channel and help it grow. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment below, 
Don't forget to subscribe if you have not done so already, and then make sure you share this video with everyone, everyone that you know. Take care of yourself. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you next time, right here on It's Only Food with Chef John Polite. Bye-bye.